Hello everyone. Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. Anthony Alfredo and Sheldon Creed both saw duty in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series in Texas on Friday night. Both drivers are rookies in the series this year, but both have showed very well throughout the season and each took it to another level on Friday. Alfredo had a career best performance in his DGR Crosley Toyota, leading a few laps and racing in the top three before finishing 12th at the Checkers. His next start in the series will be at Gateway in a couple of weeks. Creed drove a smooth race and showed plenty of speed in his GMS Racing Chevy. He finished sixth and built some momentum for this weekend's race at Iowa Speedway, a track on which he has competed successfully in the past with the Arkham Menard Series. Jesse Love had a break from the open wheel side of his schedule for a weekend, heading back home to Madeira Speedway to race with the Spears SRL Southwest Tour Series in his Nate Clower Motorsports prepared super late model. Jesse qualified fourth out of 44 cars and started sixth in the main event, quickly racing into the top three using the outside line. Unfortunately, a broken right front brake caliper put a premature end to his shot at his first SRL series win. He'll be back in the Keith Kuntz midget for several shows this week as part of Illinois Midget Week. Cassidy Hines and both Sokol brothers were in action at El Paso County Speedway over the weekend. Unfortunately, Cassidy was overdrawn at the luck bank as her motor decided to call it a day early and she was unable to qualify for the main event. Colby Sokol finished third in his heat race and came from sixth to second in the main event, moving himself up from third to second in regional mile high now points. Justice Sokol competed in the event as the only restricted 600 micro against the non-restricted cars and finished a highly respectable ninth in his first ever non-wing 600 start. They'll all be back in action for SMP Sooner Speed Week in Oklahoma, a five track in five day event that starts on June the 12th. Joe Valento ran his Legends car at Elko Speedway in Minnesota with a pair of feature races on the card. In the first event, after qualifying fourth, he got into a tangle with another car and ended up with some right front steering damage and a 13th place finish. Race two was much better for the youngster as he started outside pole and led the first 11 laps before the car's handling on short runs started to go away, and he wound up with a fifth place finish in a caution-filled event. Joe will strap back into his Kelly Byers racing truck to compete in a huge Midwest Truck Series event on the legendary Milwaukee Mile on June the 16th. Adam Lemke and Minnie Tyrell were both racing at Larry King Law's Langley Speedway in Virginia as the Cars Tour made a stop for what turned out to be a really exciting Who's Your Driver 125 lap late model stock car feature. Lemke turned a mid-pack qualifying effort into a rock solid fourth place finish in his junior motorsports entry, while Tyrell qualified 12th and spent much of the race running inside the top 10, but had to brake hard to avoid a spinning car on the last lap and cross the line in 15th at the checkers. Both Lepke and Tyrell will be back in action with the Cars Tour at the gorgeous Dominion Raceway in Virginia on June the 21st and 22nd. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. Have you missed any of our previous episodes? No worries. You can catch up by going to raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Go out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. I'm Tom Baker. 
Thanks for watching.